Hello, Lazzy here, and today I have learned that Survival Craft 2 has shaders with real time reflections, which is really awesome. Yes, we did it! We found diamonds! We found. No! Unfortunately, this does not work on iOS devices. It only works on Android because it does use a modified version of Survivor Craft 2. So if you would like to download it, the download link is in the description. It is a direct download. Wow. And all you have to do once you do download it is install it. It is seriously so easy on Android to install games. Like, what? You don't need jailbreak or none of that nonsense. It's just straight away. Once you launch up the game, you will notice that it is in a different language. Now, it is in Chinese because I think this modified version comes from China. However, if you go into the settings like I do, you can actually turn it back into English. Thank God for that because my goodness, I could not understand it and I didn't have the patience to translate it into English. So thank you for having an English version of this modified version of survival craft so to download shaders it is really simple in the description i have added a download link to a couple of shaders which worked for me there are other shaders which i will also link in the description but they did not work for me it just crashed the game i'm thinking maybe my device is a little bit too old and it couldn't handle the updated shaders i'm not too sure let me know in the comments because i would love to see if it works on other devices so once you download the shaders all you need to do is go into an application which accesses the files of survival craft you will see on screen the location of where the mods folder is which is really easy to get to once you are in this mods folder all you have to do is put the shader in there so copy and paste it in there move it in there and once it is in there that's it the mod is activated it is a nice simple process now when you go back into survival craft you will notice in your world shaders with real-time reflections which is seriously so awesome i will say now that i did notice a few bugs here and there but that's probably because my device is older and it's just struggling to run the shader but it's seriously so cool to see real-time reflections in i guess i want to say like a minecraft clone but it's not really a clone it is a really good game and i definitely recommend trying out survival craft it is a fun adventure game. I was genuinely surprised how well this ran on my Samsung Galaxy S8. As I've mentioned, it is a older device. It's like probably six years old now. It's pretty old and it runs the shader really well. I did turn the render distance down just to be on the safe side. And as you can see, it runs it pretty smooth with next to no lag. Like surely this means that Mojang could implement it to Minecraft Pocket Edition, these kind of reflections. Maybe they're working on it, I'm not too sure. I just really wish they would say something about the Render Dragon shaders or just third party shader support because it's killing me on the inside. I'm running out of videos here. <laughs> I'm just surprised they haven't said nothing in regards to it. It's been over a year since it's been posted on the Minecraft bugs and feedback wall, which surely it's been seen by at least one developer. So in the meantime, if you would like to check out some shaders which have some real-time reflections, I recommend downloading Survival Craft 2 and playing the game because it is a fun game. It is a bit clunky here and there with the controls and I guess trying to get through the menus. It's a bit different from Minecraft but it is definitely playable. And Survival Craft actually recently got updated and it added in some more spawn eggs. So if you would like to try Survival Craft 2 with some shaders, I recommend having a gaze if you're on Android. The link's are in the description below. For a YouTuber with 100,000 subscribers, I thought, you know what? It's best we upgrade some equipment around here and we got ourselves a tripod. So let me know in the comments, is it better than what I was doing before with the face cams? I'm hoping it is. Let me know in the comments, but I appreciate the watch the view, the like, if you did, save the cow, the thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next one, and a peace. So Minecraft gets updated regularly, adds a lot of new content, and it generally makes a lot of people happy. But do you know who it doesn't make happy? This guy. Minecraft Bedrock Edition shaders on the Minecraft feedback has been there for like a year. Mm, Minecraft, what are you doing to me? Over 13,000 upvotes and there is not one response from Mojang or just any development team about Render Dragon or their shader support. Like, 
It's been over a year. I don't understand. Is it just not a priority? Do you not care about people like me? Just let me know. I'm not too fussed if it's still a work in progress. I just want to know some progress. And I genuinely think a lot of mobile devices can handle real-time reflections. As you can see, Minecraft China Edition has real-time reflections and it runs pretty good on devices. And I just learned that Survival Craft 2, a top tier quality Minecraft inspired game, and I'm not saying that because it is one of my most viewed videos, it is genuinely a really good game. It has a lot of features which Minecraft doesn't have and it's really cool and just interesting and it is a fun survival adventure game.